the art and craft of tea and an enthusiast guide to selecting brewing and serving exquisite tea by joseph wesley yule <coughs> now i just i just found that found this at my library and it is a hard hard copy book so Inside, you'll find a detailed overview of tea's history and origins that you do, thoughtful descriptions descriptions of global brewing methods, yes you do, <laughs> innovative ideas for iced tea, tea cocktails and DIY blends, that is more at the back of the section, so if you want to go straight to that, you go straight to the back, and then, so... You are getting a pretty decent sized hard book. And then you get like some really wonderful like pieces of photography. Like that alone. And so like part one T and like you get it's not a straightforward like kind of textbook type of book. You're getting like act one, the introduction of P. And so it goes into like different like origins like Confucian origin, Buddhist origin, Western European origin, a story in three acts. <laughs> and then you get like basic understanding of tea and so you get like how it is like taken from plant in the field to like what we would get in our cup and then you get different types of like tea like green black white and you get like different sections of information so like you get how it's like processed and type and like you get like different people and like oxidation and like Taiwanese oolong for example and you're getting different like a little bit of history lesson as well and like different regions of growing tea and like how like like wine this tea is from this region in say China or whatever and it does go into like different growing regions like in Japan China and other like Asian areas that would like grow tea and like it goes into like the science of like the tea's the composition oxidation technique it mainly goes into like how water plays like a huge role in like tea and like water as the creator of the world and as a metaphor type thing and so it's just like a whole section on, on water and its relation like with tea and stuff so and like making the person perfect cup of tea like choosing it and like the teapot and how you display it and how you like hold it like so like storing tea like glass glass uh ideal um kind of like storing vessel plastic <laughs> So no, <laughs> unfortunately it is not a good uh, solution, so sorry. Uh, I always like ceramic kind of thing and then like, and it goes into like other different things about it. And then, then it goes into 
the different like recipes of teas like Russian tea, Turkish tea, Persian rose tea, Hyderabad Iranian tea, Ethiopian tea, and then you got uh, it goes into like different sections of like cocktails and like different things in like the recipe section at the back but you do get quite a bit of like information in this book like it's not a, like the end all be all of like information of tea but you are getting a whack load of information in this book and so it's a great jumping off point if you want to say here let's learn about some tea <laughs> so if you are the type of person who likes tea and wants to get further into it you do have at least one resource there are like others but i found this at my library and it's more than likely other libraries would have this as well or if you can find it at a bookstore new or used i'm pretty sure you could find it somewhere if you will want to have it in your hands either for a three week period or whatever your library loans for or permanently to buy your own copy but yeah the art and craft of tea an enthusiast guide to selecting brewing and serving exquisite tea by joseph wesley yule happy readings